Okay, everyone. Today in this video, I'm going to show you how to uh, work with the timeline in uh, Lightworks. So I have some clips here. You can just kind of drag and drop some clips into here, whatever you want. And you want to click the Edit tab. And in here, what you want to do is start going through the video. You can play it with the J, K, and L keys. So L will play it. And I want this section, so I'll hit I for N. And I'll hit zero for, uh, sorry, O for out. So it's pretty simple, I for in, O for out. You can take the clip and you can grab and you can drag it down into the timeline. And you can also click these buttons here and insert in a replace. And I'll show you what those do soon. But I'm just going to zoom into the timeline here by hitting the plus button. So now we're nice and zoomed in. Let's zoom out slightly. I'll put the playhead here in the middle of the clip. And I'm going to click on another clip. I'm going to double click it to open it in the viewer window. And I'm going to play it with, with uh, the L key. But first I'm going to rewind it a bit here. I'll hit I for in. And I'll hit O for out. You know, I'll do I for in here. And O for out. Good enough. And I'm going to hit the replace button. That's going to delete this here. Or whatever. See, it. this is how long the clip is. So it just kind of deleted that section there and replaced it with this clip. Now I'm going to undo this real quick. I'm going to hit control Z and that's undone. Now if I hit insert instead, it will split this clip and it will push this section off to the right. See that? So it didn't actually delete anything with this clip. It just split it at the playhead and pushed it off to the right. So that's your replace and your insert. So I'll leave this here inserted into the clip or between these two rather and now Lightworks has a very interesting way of, um, of trimming the clips and it's a very good way once you get used to it let's just say I want this clip here to be longer and I want it to be longer at the end well what I would do is I would click when, when you when you click in here, you can see that the clip, it highlights. And depending on where I move the cursor, if I move it to the left or to the right, that's going to determine how this clip is edited. You see, if I put this clip, this cursor right in the middle and click, and if I say move the right arrow key, the clip on the left will get longer and the clip on the left and the clip on the right will get shorter. See, watch. See that? This clip is getting shorter. This one's getting longer just by moving the right arrow key. And if I move the left arrow key, this will get shorter. This will get longer. See that? And when I want to get out of this, I hit tab. And now I'm out of it. But let's just say I don't want to edit both clips at once. Let's just say I only want to affect this clip right here. And I only want to affect the end of it. We'll move the cursor slightly to the left of where the two clips join. And now you see only this clip is highlighted because when I move the arrow keys, only this clip is affected. This one is no longer affected at all. See this? This clip is just being moved to the right or to the left. Now it's being moved to the right, but now when I hit the left arrow key, this clip is being moved to the left. And this one here is just being shortened. By the same token, you can also play the clip with the J, K, and L keys. See, now I'm going to play it, and then this one gets longer. Now I'm going to hit J and rewind, and this clip will get shorter. See, L makes it get longer, J makes it get shorter. And I'm going to hit Tab to get out of that edit mode. And by the same token, I can do the same exact thing. I can make this clip be the one that changes in length, and I can leave this clip alone simply by placing the cursor to the right of the point where the clips mix, where the, where the clips meet. Now when I hit J, K, and L, see if I hit L, this clip will get shorter. See that? Look at it getting shorter. If I hit J, this clip will get longer. But this clip here still is unaffected completely. And I, and I of course can do the arrow keys as well to move frame by frame. And I'll hit L, uh, sorry, I'll hit tab to get out of this. So, you know, once again, I'm going to edit, 
I'm going to uh, change both clips at once. See, I can click here and I can drag with the mouse to change just this clip. You know, just the uh, one on the left. I can hit J, K, and L. That will do just the one on the left. I can do the arrow keys. Hit tab to get out. I can click right at the point where the two clips meet. And I can do the same thing, except I can edit both clips at once. You know, I can just literally click and drag with the mouse. I can hit J, K, and L. And I can also do the arrow keys to move frame by frame. So it's pretty slick, it's pretty simple, it's pretty intuitive, and it's very quick. It's a, it's a great way to edit clips. And let's just say I want to do the audio only, and I don't want to touch the video. Well, you go here, and you disable the video track. So now when I click in here, and I click and drag the mouse, it's only going to do the audio. But it works the same exact way as it did before. Hit tab to get out. I just want to do this clip now, so I'll click and do the same thing and hit tab to get out. Same thing, I, I can just do this other clip, click to the left of where they meet, and now I can drag the mouse either way or JKL or frame by frame, exactly as I did before for this clip, and hit tab to get out of it. And now you have an L cut. See, now the audio is going to be cut at a different point than the video. And something else you might want to do is when you play this clip, let's play this one here. See, see, this is not the best point to start this clip at all. But let's just say I don't want to simply, I don't, I don't want to simply lengthen this clip, and or, or should I say shorten it, in order to um, to get a better start point. See, right now I'm moving frame by frame. I can shorten this clip and get a better start point by doing that. But let's just say I don't want to. So I'm gonna put this back where it was, right there. Well, if I click over this clip and I hit the, let me see, what key is it? Let me right click. If you right click and hit trim, you can see if you hit the Y key, see that's the quick key command, hit Y. This is the slip feature. See, now I can move through this frame by frame and I can find a better point to start the clip. But the clip is going to stay the same exact length that it, that it was. I'm not actually trimming any time off it. But now I'm using the arrow key to move frame by frame to get a better start point. Let's see if I can get a perfect start point here. See, now he's in focus, so now I'll hit tab. And this is where, see, tab is how you get out of the edits, just so you know. See, now it's a, it's a better start point because I used that slip feature to do this. You know, and if you right click over the clip, and go to trim. You can see there's a few others. There's also slide, which I forget what slide does. Yes, okay. So slide is just going to basically trim the clip, or it's just going to shorten this one and length, shorten or lengthen this clip, depending on where you want this. Of course, I'll hit tab to get out. You know, but that's mostly what you need to know in order to work with the timeline in Lightworks. So let's just go over it one more time. I want to lengthen or shorten this clip but I do not want to affect this clip right here how do I do that well go to the timeline go to the point where the clips meet and click slightly to the left of it now you're only affecting this clip J K and L you know to move the clip around the arrow keys or literally just dragging the mouse you click and drag and hit tab to get out now I only want to affect this clip here but I do not want to affect this clip here. How do I do that? Well, simply go to timeline, click slightly to the right of where the two clips meet. And once again, you can just click and drag the mouse. You can use J, K, and L. You can use the arrow keys, just as we did before, and hit tab to get out. And now I want to affect the out point and the end point of this clip. So we'll, we'll affect where this clip begins and where this clip ends. And we'll do them both at once. Well, now you just click right where the two clips meet. And when you click and drag, you can see I'm affecting the end point of this clip and the beginning point of this clip all at once. You see that? And you hit tab to get out. And of course, you want to make an L clip, an L cut, just disable one of the tracks. And you can just go ahead and make your edit the same way you did before. And there's your L cut right there. And don't forget about that ripple feature, that um, slide feature. It is 
the keyboard command is Y. You simply place the cursor over the clip you want to affect, hit Y. And as you can see, now I can affect the start point of this clip and the end point to try to get a better point where they start and end uh, without actually uh, moving the clip around. You see, this is now a great point. Well, not quite great, but the butterfly's in the shot at least. But, but anyway, that's how you work with the timeline in, in Lightworks. And um, this is how you trim clips. So anyway, thanks for watching. I'll be making more tutorials at some point, some point soon.